You're watching Sky News, bringing you all the weekend news of sport in 15 minutes every 15 minutes. Under pressure, Osborne's claim about Labour's secret tax plan backfires. Classroom cut said Balls becomes the first cabinet minister to put a figure on what it would take to balance the books. And Jackson Tate's secret recordings emerge of the singer talking about his father. Dramatic finish to a classic match at Old Trafford as Manchester United beats Manchester City 4-3 with Michael Owen scoring the winner in the seventh minute of injury time. Our top story this afternoon. Blood has been drawn in the political row over spending cuts in what's fast becoming the biggest battleground for the general election. Labour attacked the shadow Chancellor George Osborne for student politics over his claims about secret government tax plans, which were actually printed in the budget. Well, the Education Secretary, Ed Balls, has become the first Cabinet Minister to put figures on planned cuts, saying that £2 billion could be slashed from schools. Sky's Jerry Jones reports. George Osborne is never shy of sticking the boot into the government, but in accusing Labour of planning a secret tax hike, did the Shadow Chancellor overreach himself? After all, the key figures on which he based his broadside, which he said were confidential, were actually published by the government at budget time and available on the Treasury website. Secret document that wasn't a secret, a bit of an own goal. <laughs> well, I don't think so. Uh, what we've done is tell the truth, to have shown you the figures which the Treasury didn't want to show you. And uh, on these uh, tax increases that are there penciled into the red book. We never had the percentage increases before from the government in black and white. Uh, ministers have them, they just didn't tell you and me and the rest of the country. Labour thinks the way George Osborne presented his case to the media was misleading. Government is a serious business and George Osborne has shown himself today to be not a serious person. It's simply not serious to take publications that were made at the time of the budget and then splash them in a press release and pretend that they are a great revelation. Tax rises apart, the party's focus on spending cuts is intensifying with Ed Balls, the first senior cabinet minister, to come forward with suggested savings from his departmental budget. The £2 billion of school savings Ed Balls proposes would come partly from the combining of comprehensive schools and from senior job losses. The Conservatives have signalled their own cuts. They say £5 billion could be saved by losing ID cards. Axing the NHS database could save as much as £12 billion. And cutting MPs' perks is supposed to save around £120 million. The Lib Dems have a detailed cuts package of their own, including a freeze in public sector pay to save £2.4 billion a year. There is look, a real difference here between the parties as well. We had the Liberal Democrat leader yesterday saying he wanted savage cuts. Then when I say we can find savings in education to release to the front line, he calls it madness, which I think says you know, well, well, everything you need to know about the Liberal Democrats. As for the Conservatives, they are saying, not discussing savings for the future, they want cuts now this year. So it feels like a bidding war on public sector cutbacks, and yet the main parties are much less comfortable talking about tax rises. Why is that? Well, spending cuts may be painful for all of us, but it's generally felt higher taxes are even more so. So George Osborne's attempts to paint Labour as secret tax increases will be fiercely resisted by ministers. Joey Jones, Sky News, Westminster.